86 should prevail as a trying test for the Hawkeyes, having lost 13 starters, including three All-Americans, in Long, Harmon, and Station. But just one victory away from becoming Iowa's all-time winning as head coach, Hayden Fry, now in his eighth year, says, I won't be rebuilding, just reloading. Now, after 19 years of non-winning football teams, Fry has rejuvenated the Iowa football program, finishing three years in a row in the top 20 and joining the ranks of college football's elite. Right down the road, cross-state rival Iowa State rolls into town, looking to avenge last year's 57-3 shellacking. Senior quarterback Alex Espinosa heads a list of 18 returning starters, so experience is not a problem. Espinosa, by season's end, could wind up as Iowa State's all-time career-passing leader. With bragging rights at stake, Iowa will be gunning for much more as the title defense starts right here. Both fans are here. There are fans from both schools galore present here at Kinnick Stadium. The mascots are ready. The fans are ready. And here come the Cyclones of Iowa State. There you see their record of a year ago. They're coached by Jim Kreiner. And I think they're ready. We saw them last night. They got their game faces on. And one big blow they will have to overcome today, the loss of Jeff Braswell. And here come the Hawkeyes. The defending Big Ten champions getting a brand new season started here this afternoon at Kinnick Stadium. Well, we might mention Braswell, but the kid who's going to take his place is not really frightening looking this morning with some heavy rain. Hayden Fry has his troops ready. He's amazingly positive about this club, despite the fact that he lost a lot of starters from last year. I could tell the sun was going to come out because Hayden Fry put on his sunglasses. <laughs> and there's uh, Jimmy Kreider over on the other side of the field. And I'll tell you what, he's done a fine job with uh, Iowa State, and he's looking for a win here in Iowa City. Iowa has won the toss. They have elected to receive. Robert Smith and Kevin Harmon are back awaiting the kickoff. Rich Frank about to get things underway here in Iowa City. This is Kevin Harmon, a yard deep in the end zone. And a good return by Harmon all the way out. Young man. The running backs are David Hudson and Kevin Harmon. This is the fullback, David Hudson. Across the 30, he's got the first down and then some. All the way out to the 39-yard line. Brian Ra David Hudson had just a quick pitch out to the left like... Uh, like Coach Fry says, uh, quarterback pitch out left. Hudson showed him just exactly where to run. And with those big, strong legs up, up on top, ran over one of the defenders and picked up the first down on the 39-yard line. You saw the Iowa starters offensively. They are very big up front. And Hayden Fry will actually tell you Mark Vlasic's arm may be a little stronger than the arm of Chuck Long, although he hasn't had nearly the experience that Long had here. Hudson again gets it up to the 45-yard line. Chris Moore. Second down, about four yards to go. The own 45-yard line. Harmon looking for running room outside. He has the first down. He's all the way down to the 42-yard line before Ben for Iowa. At the Iowa State 42. Classic sticking to the ground game. Harmon again down to about the 37-yard line. Bill Burke. Hudson, the fullback, looking for running room, getting down close to the first down. He may have gotten it. Player of the year in 1985. Classic back to throw for the first time. He's got plenty of time. Throwing deep for Smith. Oh. And he was pulled down out of the inner. Sam Mathis, the referee from the Big Eight Conference. And That's something new. Something new. Robert Smith, wide right. A little confusion in the Iowa backfield. Vlasic back to throw again. Throwing for Robert Smith again in the end zone. And no. He was out of bounds. Smith again comes wide to the left. Hudson and Harmon, the running backs. And we get a whistle. Might be a delay of game. That's what it looks like. They're doing a, a bounds. 
He was considered the number two quarterback in the nation in high school last year. Iowa got him. Jeff George, the other one, went to Purdue. Hudson, the fullback, inside the 20. Bulls his way down to about the 14-yard line. Bill Bertheson, number 95, from the 15-yard line. Double wing. Classic back to throw on third down. Smith can't hang on to it at the 10-yard line. Two-yard attempt. He was first team all Big Ten last year. And he's off to a good start this year. The 32-yarder is good. And the Iowa Hawkeyes on the... And there's the kick by Cook. It's going to be to about the four-yard line where Dole will start for the Cyclones. Across the 20. He gets up to about the 30-yard line before he's pulled down. Not a bad return at all for Jeff Dole. Here's the all-time Iowa State passer. Andrew Jackson gets the first call, and he gets out to about the 34-yard line. Second down, six yards to go from the 34-yard line. Espinosa giving this time to Joe Henderson, and he is hit and hit hard by George David. Play third down and six. Espinosa back to throw for the first time under some pressure. It is incomplete. Tom Stone. It's a, it's a surprising flag to me because I don't believe that... 3-0 Iowa leads it. A little over 10 minutes to go in the opening quarter. There's the boot by Frank. Robert Smith going to let it go. What a kick by Frank, but it's going to go into the end zone. Right. Hudson and Harmon, the running backs behind Vlasic. This is the fullback, Hudson. Coming to the near side, making it to about the 26-yard line before he... Seven yards on the play. So it'll be second down, about three yards to go for the first down. Harmon up across the 35. He's got plenty of yards for the first down. Brought down by... Classic giving to Harmon. Harmon. Really bowling his way, trying to pick up an extra yard or two, and he was able to pick down after the seven-yard gain. Second down, three. First down this time as Chris Moore, the outside line for the Hawkeyes. Classic pitching out to Hudson. Hudson has the first down across midfield of the 49 yard line. Brian Ruffner making the stop. Water Iowa leading at 3 0. They're just across midfield. Classic dropping straight back. Firing and completing it at the 41 yard line. Number 47, Jim Morrow, the senior from Des Moines. Brought down by Anthony. Here comes Smith to the slot left side. Classic giving up the middle across the 30-yard line. Chris Moore making the stop. Quarter. Double wing again. Classic back to throw. He's got all kinds of protection going for Robert Smith. It is caught and brought inside the five-yard line. A good effort. Iowa State 29-yard line. Classic again has plenty of time. Firing for Robert Smith, and it is caught and dropped again. Rob Hotland this time will be trying it from the 36-yard line, a 46-yard effort. It's got plenty of distance, and it is good. So Hotland, the all with 639 remaining in the opening quarter. It is Iowa 6, Iowa State nothing. From the 35-yard line, the kickoff sailing a little short this time. It's going to be taken at the... 15-yard line by Andrew Jackson. And Jackson gets it out to about the 31-yard line. Good field position for the Cyclones, and here's the Iowa defensive line. And they are big. Jeff oh, Ross, oh, are they big? An all-Big Ten selection last year. John Breeze, a returning starter from a year ago. George Davis in that key linebacking spot. And the secondary. Espinosa giving off to Jackson. Jackson can't find much room. Gets about a yard or two. Get that ball up in the air and start moving, to start moving the ball. Second down and seven after a three-yard gain by Andrew Jackson. They've got about six minutes to go in the opening quarter. The Cyclones have it down by six. Espinosa giving to Jackson again. Jackson looking for running room on the far side of the field. And he's forced out in two at the 40-yard line. The fullback, Joe Henderson, diving for what looks like a first down. To right end spot for Iowa. Espinosa back to throw on first down. Firing incomplete. The intended receiver. Has Ken been Sims. No, the oh. flag. 
How do you like that? Oh, great. Just inside the Iowa State 42 yard line. Espinosa rolling right. Firing complete to number 87, Robbie Miner. He's got the first down. He's all the way down to the 39 yard line before Dayberry <laughs> reasons, but he's back this year. Good football player, though. Espinosa back to throw again. Again, he has time. But the pass overthrown, the intended receiver, Hughes, suffer number 84 far in four efforts. It's now second down and 10. Jackson gaining about three yards before he's brought down at the 37 yard blockers off. Passing situation here, third down and seven. Espinosa under some pressure, trying to dump it off to his fullback, Joe Henderson. This is going to be an interesting uh, field goal attempt. 10 conference on the Turner Broadcasting System and a publication rebroadcast at the 43-yard line. No way. It's way short and off to the left. He shanked it. You see, many times uh, he probably... They got the, the double wing again. Is David Hudson. Classic back to throw on first down, firing for Robert Smith. He's got him at the 40. Smith with a good move, gets away from one man, almost up to the midfield spot. Terrence Anthony, number eight man, he wants to prove himself this year as a full receiver, that he can take the short pass and run with it as well. There he is again, same play. 48 yard line, across midfield, and is pulled down at about the 48 yard line of Iowa State by Dennis Ward. <laughs> in the second down, about six. Classic giving to Harmon. Harmon. Gets to about the 45. Terry Sheffy, number five. At the 46 yard line of the Cyclones. Hudson is going to be brought down this time after a gain of only about a yard. But he's not out there. Marv Mark, number 84, to do the punting. And this one will be caught at about the non student on campus. Someone from Tallahassee has been arrested, and we send along our sympathies to the Florida State football program. Espinoza firing deep, incomplete. Placing the starter, Richard Pryor, for this play. Second down, 10. Espinoza back to throw again. The pass is intercepted. Kyle Crow with the interception for the Hawkeyes at the 25-yard line. The blitz was on. The Iowa Hawkeyes blitzed him. Made him hurry that throw. The first turnover of the afternoon. Good interception by Kyle Crow. He's a Watch the blitz. Senior. Watch him now come in on him very quickly, and he has to throw this ball a little quicker than he wanted to. And a great play by number 18, Kyle Crow. And the pressure applied by Jeff Dross. The all exception was made. So the Hawkeyes regain possession of the 26-yard line. Almost losing his play there, Kevin Harmon. But he got it back, didn't he? Finally bumped. So the holding call to penalties. They're in the double wing. The lone running back is Hudson. He's going to be the ball carrier. He'll get inside the 35-yard line. Another penalty marker down back at the 46-yard line. First and 30. Vlasic hands the ball off across the 45-yard line to about the 43. Less than a minute to go now in the opening quarter. Vlasic back to throw. He's got time. He is firing long downfield. He is caught by Tim Touchdown. He's the guy who put it right on the numbers. He's the kind of a thrower. If you give him time, he can throw it. Look at the great blocking up front by Croston, Gamble, Sindlinger, Gretchen, Wester. That offensive line did a great job. The extra point is good. And Iowa 
Iowa seems to be on their way. Third. Marv Cook will kick it off. Jeff Dole is deep for Iowa State. A short kick coming to only about the 20 yard line where Dole has it. Looking for running room left. He gets across the 30 and is brought down at about the 34 yard line. That's where the Cyclone four. Espinosa back to throw on first down. Firing long downfield and overthrowing. Back to throw again. And this time the pass is complete right at the midfield strike. John Breeze can put his shoe back on. <laughs> we have played one quarter here at Kinnick Stadium. It is the Iowa Hawkeyes 13, Iowa State nothing. This is Super Football Saturday on Turner Network Television. The Cyclones at their own 49-yard line. Third down 11, a passing situation. Espinosa dropping straight back. Under some pressure, and down he goes. Back to the 44. Jeff Cyclones will have to punt. Rick Frank in to do the booting. Good high, lengthy kick. And the fair catch called for at the 16-yard line. Defense can make the big plays. Classic pitching out to Harmon. Harmon across the 15. And about the 21-yard line. Milan Pitts, number 28. Now the San Francisco 49ers. Had to get Cornell's name in there, so I figured you did. Classic handing off to Hudson. The big fullback from Waxahachie, Texas. Pulls his way out to the 27-yard line. And so far, Hawkeye fans liking what they're seeing. Classic with a straight drop. Has time. Has a man wide open. Robert Smith out near midfield. Classic. Rolling right. Throwing right. Complete to Morrow. Inside the 40. Inside the 30. Down to the 24-yard line. Dennis on the Iowa State <laughs> like sideline. The Hawkeyes seeming to gain confidence, but under some pressure this time, Vlasic dumps it off. Because uh, because somebody was in position. Hudson and Bayless are the running backs now. Inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line goes. The ball at the 18-yard line of Iowa State. Almost losing that pitch was Hudson, but he gets down to the 16. down. Iowa trying to maintain momentum in this game. Bayless trying to go over the top. No, it was a fake to Bayless. The ball carrier. It's first and goal. Hudson over the top. Have we got a loose football there? Hold everything. I think we do. Take another look at it. Hudson. I'll tell you what, it could be close. He's going to go for two. Whistles. Markers are down. Game seems to be getting just a trite out of here. Vlasic back to throw. Looking for an open man, not finding one. Now he sees somebody there, and it's incomplete. Jim Morrow, the intended receiver. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Time out on the field. Iowa has opened up a big lead. We'll be right back. And back at Kinnick for your four years. Murphy from New Milford, Connecticut. Gets the kick away. Inside the 10-yard line, Jackson. Out across the 15, the 20 almost tripped over his own man there. Got to the 23. Iowa State. First down in the 23-yard line. Espinosa handing the ball off to Joe Henderson. He's brought down by John Breeze. Iowa State. This time he faked the handoff, rolling right, and he's under some pressure, but he fires it to Jackson. It's complete. Jackson brought down by a swarm of offense can come on you and do just about anything they want to. Third down and 16. It's a loss of down as well. Espinosa coming to his left. Under some pressure again. Gets away from it. Firing incomplete. Hughes suffering the Starting to get a little sloppy down there now. Ill the kicking. He gets it away. Robert Smith. Going to let it bounce. It bounces across midfield, taking an Iowa State roll right now inside the 40, inside the 35. I guess it is taking an Iowa State roll. All the way down. Iowa State's defense. Classic. 
Handing off to Hudson. Hudson up across the 35 to about the 36. A handoff. You don't need to throw it much. Classic back to throw on second down. Look at the protection he has. Going long. There was a bump downfield for the. Classic wants to throw it on third down. It is complete to Bayless. But I don't think he got enough yardage for the first down. Make it an inch or an inch. No, it's going to be about a foot. Boy, you're correct, partner. About they didn't fool you on that one, did they? <laughs> oh, there isn't much love lost between these two teams. They line up in that power eye again. They send David Hudson over the top. Looked like he got producer. <laughs> producer. The pass is incomplete. The intended receive pass. Second down, 10 at the Iowa 44. Classic with a straight drop. Throwing long downfield for Morrow, incomplete. Ryan Rick. 8.38, the time left, third down and 10. Classic back to throw. Again, he has pretty good protection, and the pass is incomplete. The intended receiver was Robert Smith. From their own 30. Gary Costruballa gets the kick away. A good high kick. Jeff Dole at the 18-yard line. Takes it up the middle for about a seven-yard return. They'll soon play here. Iowa State now with the ball. Alex Espinosa back to throw on first down. And the pass incomplete. Cyclones offense has been stopped cold by the Hawkeye defense. Yeah. Really been stopped. Four carries, six yards. Wide left, suffering wide right. Espinosa back to throw. The pressure applied, and down he goes. Dan Worth. the kick away Robert Smith gonna let it go and again it takes a big bounce for Iowa State all the way down to the 26 yard line rolling to the 25 Iowa leads it a little less than seven minutes to go in the first half Vlasic back to throw on first down has Smith at the 30 and Terry is a second down about six yards to go for a first down. Classic pitching out to Bayless. Bayless looking for running room on the near side. Get about three yards. Third down and two. And again, they line up in that power eye. This time, the give is to Richard Bass, and he's brought down by Jeff Dole, goes deep for Iowa State. They've got penalty markers down. All over the field. Dole. Back at about the 27-yard line, or the 17-yard line, rather. Gets it out to about the 22. 45-yard kick. It's against Iowa. Iowa's for the Hawkeyes. Hudson and Bayless, the running backs now, behind Mark Blessing. Hudson, the ball carrier. He's in an excellent first half. Look at the power of David Hudson. All the way down to the 35-yard line. Back in Detroit. First down for Iowa. Play resuming with 5 11 to go. The give is to Bayless. And Bayless up the middle will get about two yards. Be three. It looks like an audible. Classic back to throw. The pass is complete to Mark Missouri, sophomore out of Park Ridge. Vlasic faking the handoff. Penalty markers go down. Vlasic goes down as well. Back at the back there. It is holding against Iowa, but he's tied. Yeah, that's when Cook handles the punting. Costruballa does it the rest of the time. There's the boot by Cook. Jeff Dole lets it go into the end zone. It'll be brought out here and with you from Iowa City. And the Cyclones trying to get something started here. Espinoza has a man open across the 40-yard line. If it's, even if it's moving the ball. You saw what a difficult time of it Espinoza's been having. Only 3 out of 14. Joe Henderson brought down by George Davis. Here in the first half. Third down and six. And a whistle. We'll see movement in that offensive line. That'll be against Iowa State. 
Those linemen must get down, must put their hand on the ground. Espinosa under pressure, trying to evade it. Can't find an open man, runs out of bounds. Two that applied the pressure that time. Rick Frank with another punt. This one coming to Smith right at midfield. Robert Smith gets about a yard. The Hawkeyes. Mark Flassick having off to Hudson. Look at the running room he has. Inside the 35, inside the 30, all the way down to the 26-yard line. Big hole up there by that offensive line. This is Kevin Ringer. We told you about him a moment ago. There's a flag down. Now Ringer gets to about the 15-yard line. He's got a lot up his sleeve. That's holding against Iowa. Calling an audible. Blasek with a straight drop. Has time to throw again. Morrow, the man, is the intended receiver, and he was interfered with. Line. But you saw how much time Mark Blasek had to throw the ball. Wouldn't you? First down, 10 yards to go from the 20. Gets rid of it, and it's caught by Hudson. Chris Moore's half. On the reverse, Smith is going to throw it. Touchdown! Tim Morrow on the receiving end. Robert Smith on the throwing end. That's the old wide receiver. Option, pass, or run. Jim Morrow was open. They fooled the defense. Wide open in the end zone. Six points. Iowa Hawkeyes and the Hawkeye fans are happy today. 25 to zip. The Hawkeyes lead the Cyclones. And Rob Hoffman will try to make it 26. He does. Like... Jeff Dole awaits the kickoff. Dole takes it at the three-yard line. Good return by Dole up across the 30-yard line, out to about the 32 before he... First down at the 32. Henderson, the ball carrier. Picked up a couple of yards, that's all. I think maybe he wants... The clock moving just over a minute to go in the first half. As pressure applied again, flags are down. He lost the football, fell on it at the 25-yard line. We'll back in the tight end. We're in motion. And we'll be against... The handoff is to Andrew Jackson. And again, no running. Looking right into it. Another good kick by Frank. Smith at the 38. Pretty good return. A six-point lead. Looks Boy. like he's got a double wing out. He's going to throw it up. <laughs> it sure That's does. That's what he's going to do. Vlasic back, firing up the middle. It is caught by the tight end, Mike Flagg, and he'll go down at the 26-yard line up over Iowa State. We're back at Kinnick. And we're underway with quarter number three, a short kick. It's going to be handled by Andrew Jackson back at the 11-yard line. He'll get to about the 29. Before. Back to their game plan and see if they can get some points on the scoreboard. Espinosa completing only three out of 14 passes in the first half. And he begins the second half with a handoff to Joe Henderson. Well, as I said, they first down, the ball at the 34-yard line. Espinosa back to throw. That was Andrew Jackson. I believe they want to. Third down, seven, the ball at the 33. Espinosa looking downfield. Can't find an open receiver. He's going to try to run for the first down, and he'll come up about... And Rick Frank in to do the kicking. Robert Smith back awaiting the kick. Frank gets another good kick away. He's been one very bright spot. Smith almost lost that ball. The first half. Classic handing off to Hudson. Hudson, tough to bring down, isn't he? Right. Underway in quarter number three, Vlasic 
has time again. Firing long downfield for Smith. He's got him inside the 20-yard line. Classic. Handing to Hudson, and for one of the few times today, Hudson, 20-yard line. Lassick with time again. The pass incomplete. straight ahead to Hudson. Hudson gets inside the 30 to about the 28. Chris Moore. The Cyclone spirit still there, as you saw. Classic back to throw. The pass is cut. He won two big games for Iowa in the last second. This will be a 37-yard attempt by Hoplin. And he is three for three. One from 32 yards, one from 46 yards. 39. Iowa State nothing. Kinnick. There's the boot by Murphy. Kind of a line drive kick this time. Taken at about the 10-yard line by Dole. Good return up across the 30 to about the 31-yard line. Espinosa's pass almost. Sure. It is second down and 10. Espinosa rolling right. And there's that pressure again the pass incomplete and the reason the pressure applied this time big step third down and ten the handoff is to Jackson Jackson trying for that first down gets close he may have it Carey picked up the first down they just made it only the fourth first down of the day it's 29 nothing Iowa Espinosa back to throw. The pressure applied again. He escapes it this time. Can't find an open receiver. And four Hawkeyes there to bring him down. Wants to get downfield someplace. Second down and nine. Handing off to Andrew Jackson. Jackson got to about the 44. The ball just shy of the Iowa State 45. Espinosa with a little time. Not much, though. Steve Thomas, punt. Robert Smith back awaiting it at about his own 26-yard line. Frank gets another good kick away. Robert Smith hit as he tried to field the ball. You'll see a penalty mark. Of the camera, and he'd say, yeah, okay, now I want you to smile for your mother back at home. First down. And everybody on 49-yard line. to about the 45-yard line. Second down, four yards to go for the Hawkeyes. You thought I was just a pretty face, huh? No, I never thought that. <laughs> Vlasic back to throw. And it is intercepted. Dennis Gibson. Still on his feet, out of bounds at the... Dennis Gibson standing right there. And that is the first turnover of the day for Iowa. For Iowa, yes. And look at all the time he's got. He's looking, he's looking. He throws out here, throws it behind his receiver, Robert Smith, and was standing right there was Dennis Gibson, and he gets a big break for those Iowa State Cyclones, 7 0 The ball just inside the 40-yard line, first down for the Cyclones. Espinosa back to throw on first down. He unloads it, and it is caught at the 25-yard line. A little bit better in the second half. Six minutes, 50 seconds to go, third quarter. Espinosa on first down with a deep drop. His pass for a gain of about four yards on six. At the Iowa 20. The handoff to Jackson looking for running room on five much. Richard. And here comes a third down play for the Cyclones. Espinosa handing off to Henderson. Mike Burke stayed with him. From the 32-yard line, this will be a 42-yard attempt. He missed his earlier attempt from 52 yards. And this one is no good. So the Hawkeye fans continue to cheer for their defense. Mike Burke. Classic, who's had a good day in his first start for Iowa. Handing off on first down, number 23, Richard Bass, is in there now for this game. Four minutes plus remaining in the third quarter. This time, Kevin Ringer, the ball carrier. Classic. 
six going to throw on third down. The man is wide open and the completion is made. The number 80 square cut out. It's a first down at the Iowa State 47. Classic seemingly growing more and more confident as this game goes on. Fires long down field. He got it. Jim Morrow. His third touchdown of the afternoon. Another great throw by Mark Classic. But again, we must emphasize, look at that offensive line. He's got plenty of time to pump and then throw the ball. And watch, watch, watch Morrow get under the ball and just make a great catch in the end zone for six points. And there's Bruce Gear again. Rick Frank again in to do the kicking. And Robert Smith is deep. Frank gets the kick away, heading toward the end zone. And that's where it'll land. So it'll come out to the 20-yard line. Pick late. Hartley handing off to Bayless. No running room for Bayless. Hartley, the junior out of Illinois, back to throw. And he found his man. Move at all. First down at their own 31. Hartley handing off. The ball carrier is Grant Goodman. And Grant Goodman gets to the 45-yard line. He's 36-0 and moving with their second unit here. Hartley back to throw. Throwing up the middle intended for... Here they are, second down at 10 at the 46-yard line. Rick Bayless up to the 43. The captain, he's the guy that does everything. So that the leader. Got, that got the Iowa State day off on the wrong foot before the game ever began. Third down and seven. Hartlieb back to throw. And he completes it. To Steve Green. Tries to gain that big yard again on fourth down. Hartlieb is going to keep it. He has got the first down. Down to the 32 yard. Hartley hands it off to Bayless. Bayless inside the 30. Uh -oh. He's gone. All she wrote. <laughs> 32 yard touchdown. Good blocking up front. Rick Bayless couldn't find the hole in the middle. Broke to the outside and with good speed got into the end zone. Iowa now leads 42 to nothing. Good cutback. You see that cutback there? Marvelous cutback. With good speed into the end zone touchdown. That was Aaron Manning that almost got him but got there just a shade late. Now Rob Hoffman will try to make it 43. One. A short kick this time, fielded by Henderson, and he gets to about the 31 penalty marks today. Maybe like three we days. Clipping on the receivers. First down. Now we got the microphone. After the clipping penalty, it is complete to Jackson. Just some of the scores. 43 to nothing, Iowa leading Iowa State here. Espinoza, after faking the handoff, back to throw. This one caught at the 35-yard line. Even against the third and fourth stringers of Iowa. First down at the 37-yard line. Espinoza with a deep drop. I don't know who that pass was. Wide right. Suffering wide left. Espinoza handing off to Andrew Jackson. Jackson will pick up about two yards before Joe shoot. Of course, attended Iowa. That's uh, smiling on um, some of our other games being played today. <laughs> Ohio State apparently down, uh, losing a couple of fumbles uh, to Washington. There's a completion to Hughes Suffern. Suffern. Race and anyone ever projected. 
Espinosa back to throw on first down firing deep incomplete Eddie Brown the intended receiver any number of sellouts in the Valley and nation another, another national football tennis record and we get a whistle as the ball is snapped to Espinosa penalty marker down 9 11 to go in the game Iowa leading at 43 nothing you saw that graphic a moment ago it has been totally Iowa's are lining up out of that shotgun again a bad snap but Espinosa handles it but now he has to scramble firing it incomplete midfield Suffren comes out wide right this time with Robbie Miner wide left Espinosa with a straight drop firing long downfield for Robbie Miner Defensive play. Keaton sees me again. Rick Frank about to punt. Robert Smith awaiting it. At about his own 12 yard line. A good high kick. They're going to let it go. And this time it takes an Iowa bounce. It's already begun here in Iowa City. 43 0. Hawkeyes. Chuck Hartley been at quarterback. And the handoff is to Kevin Ringer. He's brought down. Second down. Let's call it six yards to go for the first down. Hartley after the fake handoff. Firing downfield. Penalty markers are down. He's from right here in Iowa City. That'll be holding against. Second down and 11. Chuck Hartley. With a straight drop. Completes it. To Marshall Cotton. Leave, hands off to his fullback. It's another first down. For first down at the 40. Cotton again, the ball carrier. This time, no gain. Dennis Gibbs for 26. Peter Marciano. Back to throw is Hartley. He hits Marciano at the 42 yard line. Oh, did you call that? Looks, looks pretty good yes, at quarterback, too. You know. Very well. Penalty flags drop as they line up. Procedure call against, well, as always, here in Iowa City. First down and 15 after the procedure penalty is marked off. Hartley back to throw. And this one is complete again to Kevin Ringer. Freshman from Claremont, California. Hartley went five out of six for 49 yards. McGuire makes his collegiate debut. He's back to throw on first down, and he'll never forget his first play in college. <laughs> you betcha. Meet Brian is third down. 21 yards to go for the first down. McGuire. With a straight drop. Looks downfield. Launching one long and incomplete. In Overthrew by a few inches. There's the punt by Castrobala. Jeff Dole back at his own 11 yard line. Will not get too far, up to about the 15. We'll have it for you beginning at 12.30 Central Time. Iowa State now beginning to use some different people. Curtis Warren, the running back that time. The quarterback now is Brett Sadek, number six, a junior out of Apple Valley, Minnesota, and a transfer from the University of Minnesota. He fires up the middle, incomplete at the 40-yard line. The intended receiver, Sadek rolling right. Pass is incomplete, almost intercepted. We get some good use out of these flip cards today, don't we? Another good kick by Frank. And that is Peter Marciano again, getting the ball across. McGuire at quarterback. He drops back to throw on first down. And down he goes again. He lost the football, but Iowa recovers. It is second down and 30. McGuire pitching out. The ball is loose. And Iowa State has it at the 21-yard line good as Iowa and that'll help them as their season progresses Robert Smith back awaiting the kick from Rick Frank well they're set up to, to to try and prevent you know the onside kick Iowa is only one man back that's number two Robert Smith and Rick Frank attempting to loop it over those front men instead it's picked up by Smith at about the 22 he reverses direction and is brought down back at the third guys. 
Wolhowski pitching out to Bayless. And Bayless brought down for looked like a winning his coach. I asked him about that yesterday. He says, oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> the ball carrier was Grant Goodman, a junior from Des Moines. Greg Leiter making the tackle. And that is probably going to be the last play of the game as time continues to tick off on the clock here. And now the celebration can officially begin here at Kinnick Stadium as Iowa totally dominating this first game of theirs this season has crushed Iowa State. The final score, Iowa 43, Iowa State 7. We'll be right back with a wrap-up. This is Super Football Saturday on Turner Network Television.